what's up youtube today we're going to take a look at some of the best apps for the mac os whether it be your for your macbook pro or macbook Lite. so one of the best parts about owning a apple computer is the massive ecosystem of superb apps that it gives you access to there are apps that are available to mac users no matter no matter what you're looking for, whether it's for productivity, photo and video editing, or even security and much more. You can get these apps directly from the Apple Store or from a third party developer website. And many of these apps are even free. So let's go ahead and take a look, look at some of these apps. We're going to start with Interface. Alfred. Think of Alfred as a spotlight with a dash of Siri. It's an application launcher, but it can do so much more. With Alfred, you can quickly perform calculations, execute web searches, and even find the definition of words. This, this um, mock-up fills the gap between Siri and your spotlight search by allowing you to automate tasks and perform advanced function that Siri should be able to handle. Amphetamine. This app keeps your computer from going into sleep mode, starting the screensaver, or perform the auto dim function. It's ideal for Mac users who want to watch streams, videos, or any other activity in which they don't touch the keyboard or mouse for an extended period of time. Drop Zone. Once installed, Drop, Drop Zone feels like it's an integral part of the Mac OS. This barebone app function as a shortcut tool, meaning you can use it to quickly copy and paste and move files, launch apps and share content throughout popular services such as Facebook. You can also upload files to FTP servers and Amazon S3 or even shorten your URLs using the newly added go.gl shortener. Magnet. It's not always easy to view multiple windows side by side, but Magnet gives you tons of options. This app is made for the multitasking Mac user inside all of us and presents a quick way to arrange your desktop. With Magnet, you can drag and snap windows to the edge and corners of your screen, which then lock into place. It's an amazing tool, complete with Redefine keyboard shortcuts if you want to copy content from one app to another. Unclutter. Unclutter is a basic piece of software that suits its name. This Mac app is accessible with quick swipe from the top of your screen and better yet function as a convenient place for storing quick notes, recent files, and clipboard information. Let's go ahead and take a look at photo and video editing. Affinity Photo. Tired of shelling out money each month for Adobe Photoshop, but want an app that's just as good? Affinity Photo from Serif could be just what you need. It's a photo editing app for Mac that's won numerous awards from Apple, including, including App of the Year. Unlike Photoshop, you just pay a one-time fee Right now it's at $54.99. So you pay a one-time fee and it's yours for life. But this isn't some cheap Hubble software. It's a deep full featured app that can stand toe to toe with Adobe Imaging Editing Behemoth. It has a sister app for graphic and desktop publishing as well. Both of which are amazing alternate to Adobe Pixel Meter Pro. Mac users have access to a vast selection of excellent photo editing apps, but even against its many competitors, Pixel Meter Pro stands out as one of the best. It boasts a massive list of it boasts a massive list of powerful features and is currently one of the fastest apps in the entire photo editing space. When it comes to security and storage, we have the following up. 1Password. 
if you're someone that always forget your password or if you have many accounts and you always forget the password for any of your account one password is a fantastic password manager that secures them in a fully encrypted vault which you can access via a master password so one master password would give you access to all your safe password for individuals one password charge three bucks per month but you can also pay them annually or whatever you can afford there's a disk is a disk storage and cleaning space another consistent pain point of mac os is it hope to ease the pain by visualizing exactly what is eat, eating up your storage on your device not only does this app create a color coded wheel but it allows you to easily preview and delete those files right away dropbox there are several fantastic cloud storage solutions and Dropbox is one that makes syncing files quick and painless. Dropbox desktop app works much like the software web and mobile counterparts, giving you access to your files and folders while offering you the ability to upload photos and videos and various documents directly from your desktop. Microsoft OneDrive. If you consistently shift between your Mac OS and your Windows, moving files between these two OS can be a pain. That's where OneDrive comes in to play. As this service is integrated into Windows and a default cloud service platform, with OneDrive installed on your Mac, you can synchronize files between the two with ease, allowing you to open up images, documents, and much more on either device without any additional effort on your part. Surfshark. The VPNs are all but necessary today. They keep your internet activity private and stop your ISP and hackers alike from seeing your personal data. However, there are a ton of options available and they all vary from cheap to ineffective to wildly expensive. For our money, Surfshark is the best VPN for Mac. Not only is it solidly priced, but it also lets you install on unlimited device which is a plus it also has a clean and simple interface it doesn't offer you many extra features but it works reliably in the background and saves you money the unarchiver the native apps in mac os can do it all especially when you're dealing with compress and archive files thankfully the unarchiver can handle nearly any format you can throw at it whether you're working with RAR files or older formats such as ARC or TAR. This software also doesn't require you to open a separate app, so you can access your files with simple click in Finder. Let's go ahead and take a look at some productivity apps. Beer. Beer is one of the most seamless writing experience around. Perfect for Mac users who write on multiple devices, including their iPhone and, and iPad. Beer is a Markdown editor which offers a lot of versatility and smooth writing experience. And the app's minimalist design is pleasant and limits destruction. Day one, journals are an age old tradition. With that said, this app title Day One serves as a digital companion for those looking to capture life little moments. Aside from text, the app also incorporates photos, reminders, tags, the latter of which helps tremendously with staying organized. The best part, password protection keeps potential prying eyes at bay. Microsoft 365. Apple already supplies native tools for creating documents, spreadsheet, and presentation. However, if you work on multiple platforms like Windows, Microsoft 365 may be a better option. This popular, this popular Office suite includes Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, and OneDrive. 
however users will need a subscription whether it's seven bucks per month or ten bucks per month what do your subscription provide a one terabyte of storage for each individual regardless of the plan for mac users who don't want a subscription microsoft provides a free web-based version pdf expert having to work with pdf files is a fact of life and pdf expert makes that task a little easier not only does the minimalist software allow you to fill out forms and merge pdf but it also grants you a host of tools for editing annotating and scanning files on the fly moreover it's compatible with apple's canton unity and hanover features so you can swap device while in the middle of a document without fearing without the fear of losing your work one more app i would like to take a look at is called snagit now this is a very amazing app this is the app i use on a daily basis i use it to do screenshots and do screen recording not only does this app allows you to take screenshots and screen recording it also allows you to do some basic editing and it also aid in the process of building visual documentation by adding shape circle um boxes um thinking bubble and so much more so once again if you guys have find that this video was informative or helpful in any way don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more content thank you for watching this video